I don't know why I bought this. You were going to the beauty supply store. You went in there for one thing and you end up with a whole box of ish you did not need. Welcome beautiful people, I am Chef V. If you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome to this Jamaican and extended Caribbean and African family. Make sure you are subscribed down below. Now for today's video, I will be doing a natural product unboxing. Um, the beauty supply stores are closed here in Toronto. I can't just walk to the store, get me some hair supplies, and I was running low on some stuff I needed some stuff so I decided to order from BSW if you're in Canada it took me about 10 days to receive my item and it's just a bunch of random products from some of the brands that I absolutely love for my four type hair so I just wanted to share with you guys what I got here is the box of products that I got um, I got about I got 11 items. Did I count that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I got 11 items and my total was 170 70 Canadian dollars, which isn't, it, it's not so bad to me. It didn't seem that bad. But anyways, um, as I said, these are from brands that I absolutely love. And I felt like these were things that I needed to like revamp my hair. I did my second big chop a little over two years ago. And um, my hair needs some deep treatment conditioning. I wanted to dye my hair black, jet black, because I feel like it's a little dull. So let's start with cream of nature. So I got the cream of nature pure honey moisture repellish and strength hair mask. I've seen some people do some other influencers do videos on it. Um, I've worked with cream of nature a couple of times but I didn't work with them for this product so I'm like okay I need this product okay I can't be waiting for nothing I need to try it. And I realized that I don't have a lot of hair masks. Only hair mask that I think like I'm really consistent with is the natural club um, avocado dry solution hair conditioner so I felt like I needed some hair mask I needed I needed more of those I don't have enough hair mask it smells really good look how thick that is that looks like something like you whoop up in your house like in your kitchen you know what I'm saying like something you just make in your kitchen this looks rich and smells good so this hair mask is for dry and damaged hair I got not chronically I won't like be extra but I do have dry hair I have low porosity hair my hair does not absorb moisture that well it has a difficult time and I gotta go the extra mile I gotta I gotta lock I gotta walk the long walk to get my hair to stay moisturized. So it says a pure honey collection is infused with a blend of honey, certified natural coconut oil and shea butter. This collection targets dry, dehydrated hair to provide essential moisture, okay. Softness and smoothness to where your hair needs it without weighing it down, very essential. Because most of the time when we try to find like rich moisture, rich products, they tend to weigh down our hair. We don't want our hair to be weighed down. We need some volume, okay? So if this hair mask is gonna help me, great. I'm going to be doing videos on not each of these products, but like collectively. So you better stick around. Make sure you got your notification on when I actually try out these products. So we finna test this for low porosity, for my low porosity hair girls and for my girls with coily, kinky type, four type hair. Now the next product from Prima Nature that I wanted to try was also from the Pure Honey line. I feel like a hair mist is essential, okay? It is an essential product. A lot of people don't talk about hair mist enough, especially when you've like completed a hairstyle. Sometimes um, we've ha we will have buildups like I'm having right now. I have this hairstyle in for about four days and that's a long time, especially for just a simple ponytail for me. So I tend to get product build up because each time I redo my hair in terms of like putting it back into one, like refreshing it, I add more products. So hence, you got the product build up. No, I can't be like washing my hair every time I want to like revamp this this hairstyle. You want it to last as long as possible. And with the product build up, a hair mist is what you need. So basically all you got to do is add, add some hair mist. Ooh, shit, I spread it in my face, shit. <laughs> Girl, this ain't a setting spray. I spread it on my face. So what a hair mist does is like, it just gives you back 
that shine to a dull hairstyle if you had the style in for a minute the shine spray the hair mist it just brings you right back to looking brand new like your hair is freshly did okay pure honey coconut oil and creamy shea butter so I'm like, okay, so it's moisturizing my hair while giving me some shine. Now, if you are new to my channel, two years ago, I did a tapered cut, second big chop. One of the reasons was I got bored and I wanted a new style. The main reason why I cut my hair was because I have eczema on my skin. As you guys can see on the left side of my body, I have it on my arms here. Okay. It causes hair in the left side of my scalp right here to fall out so occasionally my hair just breaks randomly whenever I have a outbreak is it outbreak that sounds dramatic as hell but anytime I have like a breakout my hair in the back right there it falls out so far this is the first time for the last eight years where my hair has been consistent in terms of health so uh, my hair has grown really well in comparison to the past Anyway, so I got my taper cut and I decided why not do something a little bit extra. So I did, did get my hair bleached blonde. It was a honey blonde. I got it professionally done. And then I used this product two years ago. Instead of like cutting off the blonde and like starting all over again, I decided to dye my hair black. And my hair has been black ever since. No blonde, no nothing because it's a permanent dye. And this dye is bomb. It made my hair look hella shiny. Well, not shiny to the point like it looks like chicken grease, you know what I'm saying? But shiny in the sense that it looked healthy, it looked rich, like that rich, intense black. So I'm gonna do that again because I realize when I do my natural hairstyles, especially when I do a twist on and stuff like that, my hair looks kind of dull. Like it has like that, that dirt look. I'm gonna dye my hair again. So you guys can look out for that video. I'm definitely gonna do a video on me dyeing my hair intense black. Now our final, is this my final? So this is my final Cream of Nature product that I bought. And this is the Plex breakage defense so i did do a whole video with this entire line it's three it's a three product line that i did with cream of nature so i did a sponsored video with them for this product and i absolutely loved it every time i did a protective style before and after i did the protective style i deep conditioned and i used this before i washed my hair so this is like a it's a pre-treatment so it's like a pre-poo so you can use it on dry or wet hair this was one of the things that i used consistently where i saw the hair in the back of my head like it didn't break out like it literally helped i had two of them i ran out and i'm like girl we need to get it back we can't like just stop doing something consistently and then i, I can't i can't deal with it breaking again i i don't feel like doing a, a big chop again i ain't got time for all of that i'm just gonna be walking around with a big old ball spot because sis i'm human okay like i can't even be bothered to to care about all that and that's one of the reasons why i feel like i do a lot of updos so if you guys see i do a lot of updos and stuff like that i don't really wear my hair out like that because i'm waiting for my hair to just be just be consistent for once in terms of like a level growth because this side of my hair grows really well not really fast but way faster than this one it grows super full on this one and then over this side it grows but it's not looking like full like this side so it's like chill i'm gonna put my hair in an updo now one of my favorite products because you guys know i do a lot of protective stylings i do a lot of hairstyles i don't like just wearing my hair in a twist i'm not one of them girls that's gonna just do twist out and braid outs and all of that. Maybe because I'm not really that great at braid outs or I just don't get the best results, but I, I like to do styles. I like hair styles. So I try to treat my hair, make sure my hair is treated as best as I can, but styles are my go-to. This is essential, girl. You need this in your life. The Shine and Jam Magic Fingers for Braiders. Even when you're not a braider, like this is essential in your natural hair product collection you need this in your life this is this is this is a go-to you want to not doing hair hairstyles you just you just need it you just need a shining job is making a comeback because i remember this from high school and living in jamaica with the sun hot with some shine and jam girl that 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 that, that jam be running down the side of your face in the heat but the formula that they use and the different remake and everything of this one right here 
Now, another favorite product of mine or brand is Aunt Jackie's. I've never actually worked with Aunt Jackie's before. Girl, you need to hit me up. Tell them to come call me. Give me some sponsorship money. I'm just kidding, but not really. Ever since I stopped using um, Eco Styler, this has been my goal. So I haven't used Eco Styler in over two years and I have been using Aunt Jackie gel ever since. So ever since my second big job, big, big job, um, I've only used, have I only used Aunt Jackie gel? I've used, I feel like, when, when we're talking about gel gel, this is the only gel I use. I've used from the main choice, but those are not like, they're not like gel gel. It's just like, like um, when you're trying to do coils and stuff, but not like the, the best hole. But this right here, when I'm doing a wash and go, this is my wash and go essential, honey. And this one is the Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. I usually use the coconut gel, but this one, either one of them is should be your best friend if you're looking for a type of gel that has enough hold that will make your hair not frizz and keep the curls tight and shiny but at the same time your hair won't be crunchy. A lot of people might get, some people get flakes with it. This is the only gel that I use in my wash and go that I've used that I haven't got any flakes and um, I love it. You just have to make sure that your hair is super wet when using the gel, but I don't, I don't experience flaking, but everybody is different obviously. So you won't get the same result as somebody else and it depends on the type of products that you mix it with in terms of like um, leave-in condition. Now another on Jackie product, I have never used this before and this is one of those products that I was just browsing and I'm like okay I need that and this is the buttercream intensive moisture sealant now I've never used this product before and it when I was reading like the details on the products I'm like okay girl we we need this so it says it's for natural curls coils and waves seal in well-needed moisture from roots to tips needs that especially beneficial for 2c to 4c natural hair types so i'm guessing it's for every hair type and helping to hydrate hair that is subject to manipulation from frequent combing brushing twisting braiding protective styling and use of heat appliances this moisture this oil moisture mixture helps to treat chronically dry hair and guard against split ends so this sounds like everything that my hair needs and more. And um, I didn't realize it was creamy. It was a creamy product. And you know us low porosity hair girls, we tend to stay away from creamy products. So I wanna see how this will blend well in my low porosity hair, especially since it's creamy. I hope it doesn't flake. I pray you don't flake. But I, I ain't like cream products like that. Now this product is Camel Rose. Is it camel? Camel. Camel rose. And this is a shine bam. I don't know what that is. Shine bam. Is this a sealant too? Biotin and castor oil. When I see castor oil on any product, I automatically like, ooh, I need that. Castor oil is a growth oil, it's a strengthening oil. Like pure Jamaican castor oil is what your life desires. I don't use castor oil on my hair like that because I feel like with heavier oils, like, I don't know, it feels like my, my scalp is all clogged up and my hairstyle is that I go to like once a year to when I need my natural hair to like get some professional treatment. She said like, I shouldn't use like too much oil. So I lay off just applying castor oil directly frequently to my scalp. So basically, I don't know why I bought this. Let me read the description to see why I did. Okay, so it's an intense moisturizing and growth stimulating balm, hand blended with hydrating butters and oils. So that is the reason. As soon as I see moisture, sealant, hold, intense, growth stimulating, I automatically, it, it piques my interest in the product. So that is what this product is supposed to do. This is what it looks like. It looks like Vaseline, does it? <laughs> I mean extra. Uh-uh, no it doesn't. And it's not as, um. I don't know how to describe it. How do you put this on? Where do you put it? So it's supposed to be applied to the ends of your hair to seal in moisture. So I guess if you do twists or doing any type of anything, you put it on the ends. Now we are down to our last 
three items. And my third to last item is some castor oil. So as I said, I haven't been using castor oil as much as I used to in the past. I feel like my hair needs some strength, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna use it directly on my scalp, but I'm going to mix it with products that I'll be using in my hair. So I'm gonna be mixing it maybe with a leave-in conditioner when I am about to style my hair, or I might mix it with a styling product like a gel when doing a wash and go. So I feel like my hair needs some a boost of strength and um, I'm going to be adding this natural castor oil um, I would get the Jamaica castor oil on the website of VSW website I didn't see any pure black Jamaican is it black Jamaican castor oil or Jamaican black castor oil either way I didn't see any of the Jamaican the pure Jamaican castor oil on the website and this looks like a lighter oil so it shouldn't be too bad to use on low porosity here I'm not sure but with the theory and all the description that they give what's right and wrong for little pressity here it says lighter oil this looks like a lighter oil i finna use it on to my other favorite brand so this as i am is a restore and repair black castor oil moisturizing mask so this is also a hair mask like the like the cream of nature mask so as i said i needed some more hair mask i couldn't pick between this or the cream of nature so I'm like you know what I'm gonna get both <laughs> we're gonna see how they both work a moisture rich product so it says I can't even read it because of how the gold writing is oh my god girl this gonna blind me um enrich dehydrated hair with an intense therapy mask this rich creamy treatment is infused with Jamaican black castor oil vitamin C and vitamin E to moisturize, detangle, and provide shine to your curls and coils. I need all of that. I need some moisture. I need the strength. I need the rich creaminess. And I love me some creamy products when it's in a hair mask form, a conditioning form, and a shampoo form. But when it comes to styling, I don't want my shit to be creamy. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nothing creamy. <laughs> nothing too creamy for styling. Oh girl, this is strong. It has a it has a strong scent. There it is. It's a look how creamy it is. I don't know nothing about chemicals and ish. I see vegetable oil. It has fragrance in there. I don't know much about chemicals. I'm, probably, I'm not one of those naturals, to be honest. I test and go. If it irritates me, I will know not to use it again. <laughs> and that's that. If I get too much itching, I won't use it again. If I feel a stinging, I won't use it again. So I'm a touch and go type of natural. I don't know nothing about chemicals and I won't pretend like I know anything about chemicals. It smells strong, but not in a strong like toxin type of smell. It smells strong like they mixed up a bunch of ish in this bitch. Now for the last product, and this is the As I Am Long and Luxe Pomegranate and Passion Fruit Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Why did I buy this? You were going to the beauty supply store and you just like, you went in there for one thing, one thing. I wanted just a hair mask and some castor oil. And then I end up with 11 products and spending over $100. That, that is what the beauty supply store does to you. You go in for one thing and you end up with a whole box of ish you did not need. But you go and get it because you want to try it. It's like a candy store. Um, delivers high definition twists and twist out styles that are smooth, soft, and shiny. This frizz fighting no flake formula moisturizes and conditions. Say goodbye to residue buildup with this lightweight hydrating formula. So I guess that's why I bought it. Remember I told you guys? I don't get the best result when I do twist out. I feel like it's because when I get really good twist outs, I always end up with flakes. And because most twist out products are creamy, and my hair don't take well to the cream at all, even when I use a little bit, you guys are like, oh, Chevy, you need some more product. I use more product, you think I'm using too much. And then I try in between, it don't matter. My hair, it, it just don't, it just doesn't do well with creams. And I feel like I bought this because I'm like, okay, let me try this because it's a smoothie. So I'm thinking, you know, it's not going to be that creamy. But um, I was wrong because <laughs> this is thick as hell, girl. Look at it. That is thick. Oh, it smells so good. Ooh. Ugh. It smells good like it smells like fruit. I love 
product that smells like food. Like I was obsessed with the Main Choice um, Kool Aid collection because the scent of every single product was so tropical, something different, some different type of fruit. This is hella thick, and I'm nervous to try this. I think I bought it so that. I could actually achieve really nice looking and presentable um, twist outs and bread outs, but this is this is so creamy and I'm so scared. That is all that I have for you guys today with my product unboxing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Damn That's Chef. If you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet, you need to go ahead and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Go on and be good for yourself. Bye guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you.